Assassin's Creed Shadows Stealth is exactly the overhaul we've been wanting for years, and it's the result of Ubisoft Quebec listening to fans, evolving one of the key pillars of the series the way it deserves. But how does Shadows Stealth change everything? Let me explain. The stealth improvements don't necessarily refine the gameplay, they redefine it, opening up fresh opportunities for emergent gameplay. The first and most impactful change? There's no eagle companion in AC Shadows. That's right. Scouting areas is now entirely up to you, putting more emphasis on verticality and strategic movement. This change immediately raises the stakes, making stealth scenarios more challenging than anything in the RPG trilogy or Mirage. Planning your approach has never been more important, but what did Ubisoft replace the Eagle Companion with? We'll get into that in a moment. For the first time in the series, shadows actually matter. Dynamic hiding spots are now created by interplay of light and shadow. Outside the buildings, hiding in dark spots will make you harder to detect, but inside buildings you can extinguish light sources to plunge rooms into darkness, turning Naoi into a predator hunting her prey in the shadows. But that's not all. You can't just sprint through restricted areas and expect enemies to ignore your presence. Enemies will now react to your footsteps, especially on nightingale floors designed to creak under pressure. This is where crouching becomes essential allowing Naoi to navigate carefully and avoid noisy obstacles that could blow her cover. However, one of the biggest upgrades to the movement is the ability to go prone. For the first time ever in an Assassin's Creed game, you can crawl under small openings, between bushes, or across tight spaces, adding a whole new layer of tactical movement. This works seamlessly with a new visibility meter, which tracks how easily enemies can spot Naoi. The lower the bar, the harder it is for the enemies to detect you, a mechanic that puts even more emphasis on positioning and movement. As an assassin, Naoi comes equipped with a robust arsenal of stealth tools, each designed for different scenarios. These include smoke bombs, shinobi bells, kunai, and shuriken. While most are geared toward distraction or stunning enemies, the kunai stands out as a powerful tool capable of taking down enemies in one shot, easily one of the deadliest items in Naoi's arsenal. Achieving perfect stealth requires mastering your environment, and this is where Ubisoft's replacement for the Eagle Companion comes into play. Instead of relying on your bear to scout, you'll now use Observe and Eagle Vision. Using Observe allows you to mark enemies and important objects, while using it on top of the sync points gives you a better understanding of the area. But Eagle Vision takes this a step further, letting Naoi see through walls and highlight enemies, objects, and even the sound they make. However, using it requires you to slow down in order to focus on nearby threats and hiding spots. It's worth mentioning that while both Naoi and Yasuke will have access to Observe, Eagle Vision is exclusive to Naoi, reinforcing her expertise as the stealth focus assassin out of the two. After a long absence, double assassinations are finally back. Whether it's from the air or on the ground, she can now take down two enemies simultaneously, if they're standing close together. But that's not all. Now we can also grab enemies from behind, dragging them into hiding spots before executing them. This new mechanic fundamentally changed the design of levels and outposts, as well as how enemies behave and how you approach them. More on that later. Naoi is the smallest and most agile assassin to date. She can now hide in places that were inaccessible in previous games, opening up fresh opportunities to surprise her enemies and strike from unexpected angles. However, assassinations aren't always guaranteed, since some enemies can deny your assassination attempts. This means that what starts as a flawless stealth run can quickly turn into a chaos chaotic fight if you're not careful enough. Thankfully, this feature can be toggled off for players who want 100% guaranteed takedown. Even if a game features some of the most advanced stealth mechanics ever, they will go to waste without a proper AI system, and that's why Assassin's Creed Shadows takes this to a whole new level with a reworked AI system that responds intelligently to your actions. One of the biggest changes in that regard is the addition of districts. Each area in Shadows is separated into different districts, and if you're spotted in one area, the entire district won't instantly be on high alert or chasing after you. This means stealth gameplay feels more immersive and grounded, letting you recover from your mistakes without the entire map becoming hostile. 
but don't think the enemies will make it easy either. Their behavior now varies depending on their archetype and situation. For example, Samurai, some of the toughest enemies in the game, aren't fooled by smoke bombs. Instead of panicking, they quickly dodge out of the smoke and regroup. Once alerted, tricking or luring them becomes a serious challenge. This improvement in AI actually affected the design and enemy patrol in a way that classic tactics like whistling from a bush to lure nearby enemies will now raise suspicion. If the enemy suspicion level increases, their behavior changes completely. They'll start searching in pairs, with one enemy standing guard while the other investigates. And if you get spotted, while it's possible to return to stealth, expect them to stay on high alert for much longer, making your second attempt far more challenging. To make stealth trickier, servants have been introduced to the game. These non-combatant NPCs can't fight, but will call guards if they spot you, creating an additional layer of tension when infiltrating restricted areas. And naturally, level-based enemies play a huge role as well. Generally speaking, higher level opponents are tougher to eliminate, adding a layer of RPG progression to the stealth experience. And it's worth noting that while Yasuke can perform basic stealth moves, he won't be nearly as effective as Naoi since his abilities are more suited for combat encounters. In general, these overhauls make Assassin's Creed Shadows the closest the series has come to Splinter Cell's stealth experience, perhaps even rivaling the feeling of the original trilogy. It's a kind of depth and complexity fans have been asking Ubisoft to deliver for years, and it's thrilling to see this vision coming to life. What do you think about the reworked stealth system? Do you think Ubisoft has finally nailed the stealth, or is there still room for improvement? Let me know in the comments below as I would love to hear your thoughts.